Hey, it's Danger here. I'm gonna do a little review on the uh, RT198P from Ranger. This is the 2022 model. It's got an automotive finish with graphics, clear coat. It's just like a paint job on your car. Um, some people complain about scratching it, but uh, I think if you don't scratch your boat, then you won't scratch your boat. So don't scratch it. So here we are inside of the review tent and I'm just calling it the review tent because it's raining outside and it's the only way I can do this review. So this is the Ranger RT 198P which I mentioned earlier and we're going to try to go through it um, and really look it over comprehensively and see if it's something that might fit your needs. Um, so far I'm reasonably happy with it. So first is the nightlight, uh, the back pole. That it's got a couple of clips here that hold it on and out of your way. The floor drains, uh, steps in both directions. So this boat comes with uh, one console and I ordered a second one just because I didn't feel like it was fair to the passenger to have to wear a full face helmet when we're at top speed. See that uh, there's ample storage up here you got your rod straps, and most of the storage is locking. A couple of compartments aren't just for ease of use. This is the Minn Kota foot control, and it's pretty standard. Um, they've been making them like that for quite a few years. This is a brand new Minn Kota Tarova, and I'll be doing a review on that separately in a different segment. Um, but I'm super happy with it. The next thing is the uh, navigation port um, for your navigation light and the Minn Kota compass. This is the trim for the motor and the power poles for the back, which I don't own at this point. Um, that's the knob for the Hummingbird 9 inch and the plug and play, which I'll be reviewing later. Um, this little handy boat flip up clip tie up is pretty nice and it clicks down solid um, this is the dry compartment storage up front and as you can see it's got the gas shock in it um, I just store safety stuff in there it's really easy to get to and that's nice they've done a nice job on the trims and the carpets in this boat this is the rod strap. You just toss your rods on the deck there and strap over them like that one across the street. So this next compartment uh, is always locked because it's the ice chest. So moving on, um, we have a little tool holder there with my pliers in it. And um, the console, which is all fiberglass and clear coated. Um, the Ranger Boat logo, which, you know, it's reasonably cool. I remember that when I was 15 and wanting one of these. Um, that was a long time ago. So here we have the dash. That's the RPM. And that's the trim for the motor. It tells you kind of where it is. You sort of have to watch that. This is for the, uh, the screen, the 9-inch Hummingbird. And that's the plug and play for it. Um, like I said earlier, I like to take those out of the boat because they are reasonably expensive. From left to right, we have interior lighting, navigation lights, and the horn, and of course ignition. Um, the steering wheel, and you can see that piece of red tape on there. I have that on there uh, for me to keep the motor lined up when I see that tape. So the gauges are fuel and miles per hour. Um, left to right, bilge pump. Aerator. I believe that third one is just an extra rocker that I could hook something up to. You know, more interior lighting or something. So this is another dry storage box and uh, it's got a little drain in it. So this next compartment is the battery storage and battery charging system, which is a three-way charging system. Charges all the batteries, tends them, and just tops them off. 
and two 12 volt batteries hooked in tandem for a 24 volt charge for the trolling motor. That uh, plug clip holds that plug in place and we're going to revisit this compartment later in a different segment. So stand by. For now let's move to the live well and my special seat that I get to kneel on. Um, you probably saw in a different segment. This live well is three foot by 14 inches um, with a divider down the center and I'm not sure how deep it is but it's down deep where the big ones sleep. From there we go straight to the glove box um, which is ample space for everything. This is what I refer to as the jaws compartment. Um, it's definitely a two-body trunk this thing will take an eight-foot fishing pole and uh, those tubes in the center are the longest ones. There may be longer ones in the next compartment, but uh, as far as storing tackle and having plenty of space for groceries, and I'm going to probably put some clips on those braces to hold uh, different packages of stuff. And this is the final compartment. It's also rod storage. Um, I'm keeping my bumpers in there right now, but I'm going to find a different home for those. And last but not least, the Minn Kota foot control in the recessed compartment on the deck here. And speaking of the deck, this Ranger RT is 19 foot 11 inches long. The front casting deck is 7 foot 8 inches wide by 10 foot 1 and a half inches long. The back deck is 6 foot 7 inches wide by 5 foot 4 long. This bad boy will comfortably sleep 8 people. So far, I could give it about an 8. I hope that number goes higher as time goes by.